I normally make a joke about having a better model, but this is only the second time we work together, so we're not that cool we're yet. Not there yet. Where I can't really <laughs> talk that much shit about her. But next video, we'll have a better model. Let's go. All right, so a lot of boudoir photographers love natural light. And there's a ton of natural light here and it will create some amazing shots. We have a couple different options. You can have lighting from the window or you have the other side where you're, where you're shooting into the light. But we are going to do something different. I'm gonna turn these off. And we are going to use these lights here. I'm gonna to try to create some mood and some ambiance. And we're gonna put some color onto our model. We're gonna to try to make her look a little bit better. A lot better. <laughs> We have orange up top going down. That's hopefully gonna create some dimension and some depth. It does mean that her posing has to look a certain way. Because the main light, if she looks at the camera this way, it's gonna make her face look kind of jacked up because you're gonna have the big raccoon eyes, which is not very attractive. Asian face means that she has different features than most non-Asian faces. Smaller nose and a little bit more of a flatter surface here, which means that she can get away with looking at the camera more than someone that has a really pronounced brow and a large nose. Bigger features mean that you're more limited with movements. Big brow, big nose, you have to have your chin up so the shadows are smaller. If you have a long nose and your chin's down, that shadow's gonna go across the lip, which is normally a no-no with photography and with video. Not every pose needs to be up, but it can be towards the camera turned sideways, so that way the light's flattering this way. It's just gonna mean that it's not as good this way. Uh, we have a color light behind here and a color behind here. We have a gray background. We have nice textured pillows. We have texture in the sheets. If you've been following the trends on Instagram, you know the importance of video. So one thing that we do, even with our photo business, is we offer video options as well. With video, I'm not doing a one hour feature length video. I wanna get content for a reel, 15, 30 seconds, 60 seconds max. But the reality is unless you're offering more value than just a pretty person, most people are not gonna stay and watch a 60 second video. So 15, 20 seconds, I wanna showcase movements, expression. I still wanna feel, you know, the, the footage that, that I'll be watching. I just don't wanna tell a whole story. We don't need to. So the plot is move around. Do you do a lot of social media? Yes. She does a ton. Do you do a lot of reels? I need to work on that. That's a no. So it's a great way to add on to a shoot and it doesn't really take that long. Ready? Love that. Good. Eyes on me. Get the hair crazier. Love that, do that again. Good, other side. When you go and do the whip, I want a little bit more openness. I love this, when you brought your hair like this and the elbows forward, take that and slow down, big stretch. Ready? In fact, go down, seat it, and then lift up. Ready, and go. Good. Strong, that's strong. Good. Run the hand. Love that. Do the same thing, both hands push the hair forward. Chin up. Good. Hip side to side. Again. Run the hand up. Let's go to from here. When you have your hand like this, move and then extend. Almost like you're sliding forward. This way? Let's go that way there. Okay. Ready and go. Good, again. Slide. One more time. Ready? See all the paint on her toes? She's nasty, she's so dirty. Mm. You did that. No, I did not do that, that was all you, ready? No. Go. Whenever you slide, I like this stretch, slide and then roll over to your back. Okay. Ready, action.
Keep stretching. Face side to side. Good. Follow the hand. Right there. When you're like this, push all the hair. Yep. <laughs> you spit on my... Like, you see that? That was like straight up hawking a loogie. No. All right. That look there. When you push all the hair like this and then stretch back and forth. Okay. Go this way. My hair is staying like this right now? It'll go to that. Ready? Go. Ooh, yeah. Good. Blow that. Good. Here, last shot. I need high contact and then just kind of like either like go away or whip the hair so it goes to black or like a little whip. Do it. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ready? It's go. So cute. And go. <laughs> and zine. That's a lot of work. Woo. All right, let's talk about it. So we saw was there's no plot. There's no, you know, big direction, instruction, there's no preset plan. But it was easy-ish. You just have to have her move around. Uh, the nice thing about these lights, I was able to walk around in a lot of different areas. Now we had an idea, or the, the plot piece, I needed an outro. The outro was, you know, I said either whip the hair towards the camera, or throw something, or wave, or something like that. And then she came up with the idea of falling off the bed. That's it, I think it took about, what, five minutes? And that'll give probably enough content for two, maybe three different reels. Anything for them? No. All okay. right. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, please click on that like button, leave a comment if you have any questions. And if you enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe and click on that notification bell so you get updates every time we post new content. Till next time, keep shooting. You wanna be somebody.